Hi guys, today we are going to make this cute beach toad. I'm using white yarns for the body and a purple strap. This is beginner friendly, so let's get started. I'm using a 5.5mm hook today. We're going to start with a slip knot. Chain 35. This really depends on how big you want your bag be. You don't have to follow an exact step, but just chain to the length that you like. Keep your tension consistent. Don't make it too tight. This is not the regular hook that I use because my regular hook is currently missing. I have about 38 stitches. I'm going to chain a couple more and make it 40. So at this point, we can start it to build on the pattern. Chain two. We're going to do double crochets on each stitch. Yarn over. I'm going to start with the third stitch. So one, two, start with the third stitch, yarn over, yarn over once, and yarn over twice. So chain two is your first double crochet, and then this is the second one, yarn over. Now starting the next one, you're going to just pick the next stitch and do your double crochet, yarn over, yarn over again. So we're going to do the entire row. At the end of this chain, chain two and turn your work continue to do double crochet over these stitches just like you would do in the first row i'm at the end of my fourth row when we get to the last two stitches it looks like we're missing a stitch at the end here so what i do is i still yarn over and use this last space from the previous row and do another double crochet so that way it's all lined up nicely so we will continue to do as many rows as you like until you get to a length that you like and let's come back i'll meet you when we finish the whole base once you get to the good size of the base that you like we are starting to build the back up so in the last stitches of your row chain one and we're gonna flip the work so starting up, we are going to do a single crochet all around, but we're only crocheting on the top loop. Normally, we will pick up both loops here, but in order to make the back go up, we are going to pick up just the inside loop. We are going to do a single crochet all around. On this side road, it may be a little bit difficult to find a proper stitch to go in. I just try to find the closest stitch that I can put my hole in and just do the single crochet. It doesn't really have a strict method to this, but just try to find wherever you can get your stitch in. I'm getting to the side where this is our initial chain, so you don't really have a inside stitch and a outside stitch. So I'm just going to pick up this chain stitch over here and just use that for my single crochet.
once we get to the end of the whole round we're gonna chain one and this time we're gonna come back to the same row but we are going to do single crochet all around one more time so chain one and pick up the first stitch so this time we're just gonna use the regular stitch are at the last two stitches of the single crochet round when we get to the last stitch we are starting to build up the net pattern um, at the corner here we're gonna chain one and go around and pick up the first corner stitch and I'm gonna do a slip stitch over here from the slip stitch I'm going to chain four And I'm going to skip a stitch. So first, skip this one and pick the second one. I'm going to do a double crochet. Insert, yarn over once, and yarn over twice. Basically, it's the same stitch as the base, but now you're skipping a stitch. So for the next one, chain one, yarn over, and we're going to skip a stitch as well. So pick the second stitch chain one yarn over skip a stitch another double crochet so we're gonna go around the same way all around the corners these corner stitches are a little bit difficult to get into but I try my best to find the closest that I can get we're still skipping one stitch and then this corner stitch is, is a little bit hard so if you had the same situation just pick the next stitch it's not a huge deal just pick the stitch and continue with your round you don't need to add a chain or anything so continue with skipping one stitch and then we'll continue to go around okay we are getting towards the end of the first row um, in the last stitches here I'm going to chain two find this first space I'm just gonna insert and do a slip stitch to just connect these so that's the first round of this pattern so starting from the next round, we're using the same pattern, but we're using these individual space as our stitch. So here I'm going to chain four. Also doing double crochet. So I'm going to use not the first one, but the second one, the second space here. And I'm gonna do my double crochet just like that I'm gonna chain one use the next big space chain one again yarn over use the next space for the next few rounds you're gonna do the same using this space as your stitch and do your double crochets all around until you get to the highest that you want and then I will meet you guys back okay we are coming towards the end of the row for all the same stitches so there are 25 rows in total 
um, you can just adjust based on how you like it. If you like your top to be shorter or longer, you, you can adjust the rows. In the last stitch, chain two, and I'm gonna close it with a slip stitch. And I'm gonna make one more slip stitch and tighten it. So this is the end of our net pattern. So starting from the next row, let's cut this off. With my darning needles, I'm going to just hide the tails. I'm gonna go in this stitch, pull the tail out, and go in this loop. So basically I'm tying one more knot to make sure it's secured. And then I will go between these stitches and hide the tail. You can go as far as you like and cut off the tail. Or you can go far enough though the whole tail is gone. So to create a strap, I'm going to start with this row as well. I'm going to use a dark purple color. This is the Bernat acrylic yarn. It's the same size as the white yarn and you can use any color that you like. Going in from the top yarn, I'm gonna insert the yarn and tie two knots here just to secure it. From the same space, I'm going to yarn over and do a slip stitch just like this. I'm going to pick up the top stitch over here, both loops, and create a single crochet. In between these spaces, there's really no requirement. So the next stitch, I'm going to go in the big open space here, just like so. And the next stitch would be the loop in between two big space. So we're going to keep going around. Towards the end of the row, these two spaces are very big, so we can just make two single crochets in each of the space, two or three, like depending on how your space is. Um, in this last loop, I'm just going to use this big space for my last single crochet in the first row. We're going to make one more row. We're going to make total of three rows in this color before we start to make the strap so let's continue with it and i'll see you at the end of the third row coming towards the end of the third row a few more stitches that I need to finish in the last stitch I am going to yarn over and do a slip stitch to close out tie a knot here cut this out we're gonna leave this on for now to start with the strap we're gonna find the long side of the base we're gonna come here and kind of find a good spot to start the strap make the strap kind of in the center, you know, along the line of the shorter end of the base. So I am going to start about here. I'm going to yarn this through and tie a knot here. Insert a hook, yarn it over and yarn over do single crochet make seven single crochets four five six 
six, seven, let's make eight. Um, let's make nine, chain one, and turn your work. So now we're going to continue to single crochet. So we're going to continue to do this until you get to the length of your liking and then I'll meet you guys back. We're coming to the final stage of the bag. I finished the strap. So this is about 110 rows. You can adjust it based on how long you want the strap is. In the last stitch, I'm going to go ahead and insert and do a slip stitch and pull it tight. So that is my closing stitch. I'm going to leave a long tail for the final sewing stage. So to sew this up, let's get our darning needle. So I'm going to measure just the opposite side of the back over here. I have nine stitches, so I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So just about here. So we are going to go in from this stitch. I'm going to insert, go in from the first stitch over here. Pull it through and then go to the insert in the next stitch. The second stitch. So in the final stitch, I'm just going to go outside of it and use the side stitch so that it's all secure and it's not going to look like I have a little corner going out. Finally, let's sew this up. So what I like to do is I want to just pick a closed stitch at the bottom here. Pull it through and then use this loop and pull it through to make a knot so it's nice and secure. I sometimes do a couple knots after this. If your yarn comes out of your needle, just thread it back in. I'm just gonna pick some of these stitches in the back and just thread this through. So this is nice and secure and then we can cut off this part. So here is our tutorial for this beach tote. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.